the most re re rewarding part of being a financial advisor was, uh, well, is uh, really client satisfaction. Watching a client start from wherever they start with me and end where they want to end at is the most satisfying. When you actually helping people fulfill their goals and aspirations uh, as it relates to their financial security, you, you can't have a better kind of role in your, in your life or a career than that. Uh, that plus just overall uh, the relationship with this, those same people. I'm Ken Royster, First Genesis of Virginia. Well, I started in this business in 1984, and uh, it was by accident that I actually got into it. Uh, I'm prior military, and I was a, uh, a, a non-commissioned officer when I had gotten out of the military in 1983. And so I was out looking for a job, and um, I started answering what I thought were leadership type jobs, which was marketing representative. So I was fortunate enough to meet a young man who I saw myself as possibly being that person in the future. He was a 33 year old uh, African-American manager. Uh, I was 23 years old and he presented me the opportunity uh, in financial services. And he presented to me what I call in an honest way. A lot of times, uh, folks will embellish the career about how great it is and how easy it is and all the money you're going to make. But he didn't do that. He told me how difficult it would be, but how good discipline and perseverance can pay off in the long run. And I took that information and I ran with it. I started with LPL in December of 2016. So uh, I guess I'm going into my sixth year with LPL. And um, from there, I, uh, I started with LPL for the first two years. And then uh, the last uh, three and a half years, I've been uh, hybrid LPL. So I, I went to the Stratus, uh, to Stratus Wealth Partners as the uh, RIA versus the corporate LPL. Once I started the process, it got even better. It will just reaffirm on a continuous basis that one, we want you to be on our team and two, we value you as part of the LPL family. Anytime you're moving from one firm to another firm, the ease of doing business is critical in any transition and any ongoing uh, work. The ease of doing business at LPL is just it, what, like just like I said, it's easy. Also, if there's any issues around your business, uh, again, LPL is quick to uh, get you uh, notification of information affecting your business. Uh, any changes around uh, the uh, the platform as well as the way to do business, they're very quick to get all those things to you. So uh, strong internal support, easy, user-friendly platform. There's nothing I haven't called and asked LPL to support me on that was reasonable that they haven't. Uh, I think that that's critical is to know that someone's there saying, yes, we'll help you. Well, first and foremost is client works. There's just every reporting tool that you need in there, every client uh, information you need, any research that you need, your your entry for, uh, for, for casework, everything is in client work. So that's the number one tool. The one thing that um, the risk analyze, I think has been very valuable to my practice, making sure that we keep our portfolios in alignment with clients' real, real risk tolerance and time horizons. The other thing is uh, the, just overall uh, research tools that help with the cost benefit analysis, whether it's annuity products, whether it's investment products, where you can compare based on asset classes, uh, uh, portfolio models, so forth. There's so much to, to look at in terms of how you can be beneficial to your client. But as I said uh, a minute ago, the cost benefit is the key. We're fiduciaries here. We wanna make sure we're always doing what's in the best interest of the client, and we wanna do it in the most cost-effective manner. Uh, I want for my colleagues who work with me to be better off 
after uh, they met me than before they met me. My firm uses the LPL Advisor Institute specifically uh, for the new training and development of my new advisors. Uh, as I said earlier, if you're trying to build an organization, one of the things you have to do is you have to have a development plan for all your new advisors. Uh, different advisors come in at different levels and the Advisor Institute was perfect for my new people coming on. Uh, I sat in on the curriculum for the first three sessions just to make sure that the curriculum was going to be uh, uh, the type of information I wanted transferred into the new advisors. And let me tell you, uh, it was more than what I expected. And so after three sessions, I knew I didn't have to, to sit in anymore. The advisors were getting everything they needed. They were sharing with me what they were going through, and it was helping me in my development plan with them. So I think it was a win-win for everyone. Uh, again, the other part of LPL that's very strong for us through the, uh, the Institute was the creation of uh, diverse networks uh, training and diverse, diverse network opportunity uh, calls, where we got to share how diversity is impacting the industry and specifically for African-Americans. I'm also uh, part of, our firm is also part of the Black, Black Advisor Network at LPL. And so uh, we have a monthly call with that as well, where there's a lot of information sharing and idea sharing in terms of growing our careers. Someone asked me once, are all your clients friends of yours? And the answer is yes. What I like for my legacy to be is that I was impactful in the difference I made in people's life. And the reason why I use the word impactful, a lot of people say, I wanna make a difference. But what type of difference? The difference I wanna make is something that changes people's lives for the better. That's what I consider to be impactful. I wanna make sure that the clients that I engage were better off uh, after they met me than before they met me. My daughters are, are integral in, in my business. My oldest daughter is a financial advisor as well. Uh, my youngest daughter is our marketing director. They've been around their dad their whole life, and so they've been uh, acclimated to this business. Uh, when they were teenagers, I'd have them work in booths and uh, attending workshops and seminars with me. We worked very strongly as a team. Uh, I can tell you as a, as, a, as a leader here, there's no greater feeling for me to stick the key in the door, open the door, walk in the office, and there are my two daughters and they're working right alongside helping grow this business.